we do have a quorum myself, uh, our uh, Vice President, Ms. Devel, Secretary, Mr. Martinez, uh, Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Garcia, uh, Ms. Vejo, and Mr. Howe. We're moving along on the, uh, the agenda. We have Pledge of Allegiance by Trustee Mr. Howe, invocation by Trustee Mrs. Vejo. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Loving and gracious God, you are indeed the giver of all good gifts, and we thank you today for all your blessings, for the successful outcomes of our school events, and for all our staff members, both teaching and support members. We ask that you bless them abundantly and we continue to seek your wisdom, guidance, courage, and strength. Be with us in our deliberation and help us to be wise in the decision we make for the good of all those who have placed their trust and confidence in our leadership. Give us insight to lead with integrity that our decisions may reflect what is right and good. Help us to make decisions that are for the good of all. Dear Lord, grant us the humility to always seek your will in all that we do and say. All glory be to you, loving God, now and always through Christ, the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Okay, moving along with open forum public comment. Ms. Martha? Yes, sir. Okay. Introduction to public comment, public meeting. The next item on the agenda is open forum or public comment. Before we begin, I'll remind our audience members of the board's procedures for handling public comment. The public comment portion of our meeting is available to members of the public who wish to address an agenda item to be considered by the board on tonight's agenda. Anyone who wants to speak during public com comment must sign in prior to the start of the meeting and list the agenda item they want to discuss. Each public comment speaker will be allowed a maximum of five minutes to address the board. However, in any public testimony speaker who re requires a translator will receive up to 10 minutes to address the board. The public comment portion of the meeting will allow all speakers who have signed up before the start of the meeting to address the board regarding an item on tonight's agenda. Please keep your comments or criticism civil and courteous. Please also avoid using profanity and refrain from making personal attacks on others during your opportunity to speak. Last, we ask that you do not discuss students who are not your own child. If a speaker is seeking board resolution of a specific complaint, that concern should be addressed through the district grievance process. District policy DGBA has been established by addressing employee complaints. Policy FNG is the avenue for filing parent complaints, and policy GF addresses committee member complaints. Grievance force can be obtained at any campus administration office or in the central offices. Thank you. Our first speaker is? Jaime Castaneda. Welcome, Mr. Castaneda. Good afternoon, I'm here to speak on executive session item two, uh, the superintendent hiring process and superintendent search. Uh, from what I understand, the board has hired a superintendent and I hope they made the right decision. For the past few years, they've been you know, hiring board member, uh, superintendents that are not, are you, are, do you have a problem over there? Do you have a problem? I'm talking to you, sir. Oh. Well, keep your hands to yourself. You're distracting me by hitting the mic, okay? <clears throat> Anyways, we've been hiring the wrong superintendent. The previous one was Dr. Rivera, who was in it for the money. He was not here for the students, like he lied to me, that he was here to make changes in our community, to help out the school district to grow, bring in students. It was all about the money. There was an article printed by the monitor. Mendiola, the other individual as well, many times I met with her, Many times she claims it was all about the students, but it was all about the money. At the very end of the day, she's now suing the school district because of money. So I hope now we brought in the right individual that is gonna lead the school district in the right direction, and she's gonna be held accountable. Because recently, a couple of years ago, there was incident students getting molested, disabled children being abused, teachers dating students, and no one still was not held accountable because the board has failed to discuss what it was found in that uh, high research that they did with all these uh, allegations that occurred. You guys haven't even cleared that up. I don't know what you all are waiting for. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else, Ms. Martin? No, this sir. one? Okay. 
Okay, colleagues, move along on the agenda. Executive session. And during the course of this meeting, discussion of any item on the agenda should be held in closed meeting. The board will conduct a closed meeting in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code, Chapter 551, subchapters D and E. The board may consult with legal counsel on a matter of discussion in executive session pursuant to Section 551.071 of the Texas Government Code. A, personnel, pursuant to Section 551.074 of the Texas Government Code and attorney consultation pursuant to Section 551.071 of the Texas Government Code. A1, discussion and consideration of interim superintendent agreement. A2, consultation with attorney consideration superintendent hiring pro process and superintendent search. It is 538 and this school board is in executive session. <laughs> 